everybody. Hope you're doing well this week. And I wanted to bring to you some exercises, uh, balancing exercises um, that you could do while you're doing your everyday activities like, um, like watering plants and maybe some a little agility exercises with fruit or, and or balance exercises with a book. So you need a watering can, right? Filled, filled with water or two, depending upon which kind you have. An orange, <laughs> right? Or ball. And a nice big fat book, right? That you could uh, use. So, yeah. so we're gonna try a little bit of our balancing with <coughs> the water can. So when you go out to water your, your um, flowers, before you empty the water can into the flowers, right? You notice that it's heavier on one side. That's a balance challenge it's a great opportunity right to see if you can hover off with one leg ever keep a steady gaze yep. and switch it back and forth to the other leg well and do that a couple times right so it's at its heaviest right now the hardest yeah and switch it again so it's gone a couple times Woo. And then give your plant of water, right? So you're emptying out some of the weight of it. I'm going to do it again. So in between each of your plants, I did a little leg lifting the other way. Remember, keep your gaze steady wherever you can look. Yeah, making sure all that space around you is clear. You have a lot of plans. Right? And do it again. Right? A little bit on each side. So I'm always on the opposite side here. I have been anyway. Um, you can do it on the, the same side of the leg you're standing on as well. All right, so play around a little bit with that, which side the leg's lifting and the jug is off. And again, as you go, you can <laughs> empty out the water can, do your little bit of watering. Right? If you have um, this kind of watering can, which some of you might have, it's a little lighter. Right, a little smaller, but it doesn't have a handle on it. Well, that's great wrist work, right? Because to keep it steady and not let the water fall out of it. So again, you might want to hold it out. Try a little bit of a balance first. Yeah. Switch your hand. Again, it's a little <laughs> challenge. Try balance again. And again, water. <laughs> Go ahead and give those plants a little water, emptying it out. Right. So that's your, your watering activity. Yeah. If you get a nice book, a nice big fat book, um, yoga block would work too. Just put it down on the ground. Again, making sure space is clear around you and maybe you need a chair that you have beside you to um, steady you. And we're going to step up. Again, find a little balance on the book. Come off. You can repeat it on one leg a couple times. Steady gaze out in front of you. Or you can do the other leg. Again, keep it even on both sides, however many you decide to do. You can do as many as feels uh, good to you to do. Then when you're tired after all that, <laughs> Come have a seat in your chair. Hopefully you're not too tired. So you can do a couple of sit to stands. Right? Feet underneath you, forward and up. Which is always good to do no matter when you sit in any chair. Yep. So a few of those. Yeah, and maybe before you have your snack, your orange, you want to take that orange and do a little bit of brain work, agility work with the orange, tossing it up 
and down, either one hand or one hand to the other. Maybe you count forward, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, etc. Backwards, six, five, four, three, two, or one, or maybe you count by threes, six, nine, right? You know all of it, or backwards. Maybe you move with it counting, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, right? You can do as much as you want with that uh, orange, pass it behind you, right? Loads of things you can do with this before you eat it. So I hope you enjoyed those little exercises you could bring into your everyday. All right.